name is Mariana and today I'm here to review the new Sarah Dessen book, The Rest of the Story, which just came out this week. This book, my guys, my guys, let's just start with the cover. How absolutely cute is the cover? I love the font they chose and I just love the blue. It's basically like a lake with the docks and the boats because lakes are obviously very important to the story. I have not read a Sarah Dessen book in a hot second. I think the last one I remember reading was Say Anything, and I don't think I fully got through that. I think, like, the character, remember that dude that, like, was friends with the brother and was super creepy and no one believed the main character when she was like, he's super creepy. Yeah, that was just annoying me, so I just stopped reading it, but that was the last one I read. So I was super, super excited to read this one. It sounded so cute, just like the whole summer beach read sounded so cute and so awesome. So I was really, really excited to read it. The story, if you haven't heard, basically is about this girl, Emma Saylor, and she has not had... The easiest life. Her mother was a drug addict and her parents divorced when she was very young and her mother ended up passing away from a drug overdose when she was young. So the book basically starts at her father's wedding when he's getting remarried and then he's going on his honeymoon and she has plans to stay with a friend but those plans fall through at the last possible minute and she has to go and stay with her mother's side of the family who live at this lake that her parents are from and she basically has doesn't really have that many memories of them. She met them, she went there once when she was like a young girl, like four or five, but literally doesn't remember them, doesn't know them that well. It's like a whole separate side of her and her family. And this lake is very important to the story, like I said, because the lake is kind of, there's two sections to it. So it's one big lake, but on one end is like the kind of rich, ritzy end where her dad was from. And then the other side of the lake is where her mom's family's from. And it's kind of like the the all years the people that live there all year they work all year they're kind of you know not as ritzy and rich as the other people and they're the ones that basically like work for the people that come once a year so she's staying at the side of the lake and she's experiencing this family and this life that she really has known nothing about her dad is very not secretive but he doesn't talk about her mom he doesn't really talk about her, her mom's family. Throughout the her stay there she starts to discover more and more about herself and she meets these family members that she doesn't remember, doesn't know, and she starts to learn more about her mom's story and how that connects to where she is now and how it connects to how her parents met and what their story is. And it's just a really really great message, you know? At the beginning of the book and throughout the book she suffers from anxiety a lot so her big thing is she has a lot of anxiety about driving and she doesn't like doing that at all and she's also very OCD about organizing things so like it calms her down to like just rearrange her room, clean dishes, stuff like that and throughout the book you see her kind of work through this and what I really liked is there's never any like magical change for it really you know it's just that she starts to take her mind off of it by getting distracted and I honestly think that's one of the most underrated things for anxiety treatment is distraction. <laughs> like I was always so kind of like if you're not clearly focusing on it like that's not right like that's not fixing your anxiety but like when I went to therapy and stuff like that one of the things they taught us was like yeah it's okay if like distraction helps like that's a fine thing to pick like if it works and it takes your mind off all your stress and all your thoughts like it's not avoidance I think that's my thing I always thought it was avoiding it but really it's just distraction so I really liked that and then the whole world of the lake that she stayed at really was just came alive like the characters the beach like I could honestly picture this this like small town where everyone knows each other everyone really remembers her is the thing because they were either older or they have like a good memory like they they talk about sailor they know her so it's kind of like she's playing catch up while everyone else knows who she is which is really interesting because you know like imagine going to a place where you really don't know anyone but they all know and remember you like that's so interesting so trippy to me so I really think like she just did such a great job of painting this world it doesn't take place in Colby which is you know where a bunch of Sarah Dessen books usually take place characters are so vibrant and her family especially like, her cousin Bailey her cousin Jack her grandma and then the love interest Rue like they all were so well fleshed out and had such awesome like traits and qualities to them that like they literally felt like you were reading about real life people that you know you know which I think is really really impressive and there wasn't anyone that like annoyed me at all which was great because there was it was such a big cast of characters like she has a huge family and there really wasn't anyone that annoyed me and I think what would be great is if maybe she revisits this whole world someday with maybe another one of the cousins or waits a couple years till some of the younger cousins are more grown up there's just so much I feel like to explore but I really really love the idea of like you need to know kind of like the full story to 
understand your story you know because I feel like sometimes people want to paint like a beautiful picture and she even says this of like you want to remember the happy things about like my mom and I get that but there's more to her than that she was a real flesh and blood person and to understand how she ended up where she is and the choices she made I need to understand like what her background is like so I just feel like the whole book in general was so great this whole story of kind of Emma finding her path in life you know because that's another thing with her name is everyone at the lake knows her by sailor because that's what her mom called her and that was just like the name her mom had chosen for her but her dad and everyone else you know in her life calls her Emma so like that's a big struggle she has in her life of like do I go by Emma at the lake do I go by sailor and you know those kind of like dueling identities and she has to figure out how to combine that nicely the love interest was so so cute there was some awesome moments between them that I just feel like were really adorable and really sweet. It's really nice, you know, as much as I love enemies to lovers, I like when we move away from that trope of like a guy has to be an absolute dick to you and then you have to tear down his walls. Like Rue was just a genuinely nice guy and he was so sweet and so cute. One of my favorite interactions between them is small spoiler so I'll uh, put my hand up until I put it down but one of my favorite interactions between them was how he would call her on his like at work when he was supposed to be like promoting storm shields and like just have these awesome conversations with her talk her through like all the photo albums that he had grown up with that she's just seen for the first time and really like the way she just blends so seamlessly back into their lives is so so awesome so like I said I really enjoyed it I think the only thing that would annoy me the most is her dad his character got a tad bit annoying in some points as you know we have to have that teenage conflict of like the parents not agreeing with what the kids doing and like I just saw sailor's point so I was like stop it like you're just being annoying you know and I'm very much like me and my parents have gotten into some legendary arguments because I do not I don't just sit there <laughs> when I don't agree with something that my parents are saying or if I feel like they're being unfair you know so like I was just kind of like <sighs> but yeah I highly recommend this book it's so cute so sweet it reads exactly like a Hallmark movie or something like that you know but like a bit less cheesy obviously but there's just so much like it's such a great summer read it's so great about discovering yourself just that kind of like I said this magical world she created of like imagine going someplace where everyone kind of knows who you are kind of knows all these secrets of, not even secrets but just stories about your life and your mother's life that you don't know and to them it's just kind of like common knowledge like that's what she goes through discovering things about her mom who she was more than just kind of this memory she has of her that was always tainted by her mother's addiction so it's really really nice and Sailor is just an amazing amazing character I think the growth she goes through in this book is so amazing and she's very easy to relate to I would say with her anxiety it's so amazingly well done like so well crafted by Sarah Destin she did an amazing job because I feel like this book could have been really cliche and really just kind of over the top and annoying had you know it been different but she just handled it so well she made Sailor so amazing so like you always rooted for her no matter what she was doing and you really felt all her emotions and everything like that and like I said her cousins were some of the funniest most awesome people you ever met Rue was just amazing so I absolutely love this book I would give it five out of five stars and if you have read the rest of the story please feel free to leave your thoughts about it down below in the comments also make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time bye